Hey y'all, my allergies is on 10. This is two days later from when I took my braids out. And as y'all can see, I still haven't washed, well y'all probably can't tell, but I still haven't washed my hair. I haven't done anything to my hair, but combed it yesterday, went the boot yesterday. Been washing clothes since Monday, since I got off Monday, because I was off Tuesday and Wednesday, today is Wednesday. Been washing clothes since Monday. Went to boat um, yesterday. I looked all cute yesterday. I had my hair in this bun, but it was fixed. I had my um, human eyes being black shirt with the mask to go to it. I had my shades on. I went in there cognito, not knowing. Once I showed them my ID, my mom was like, you got them shades on. I had, uh, I didn't have a hood on, but I had a hoodie on. You got them shades on. You got your mask on. They can't even, they don't know that's you. And they was like, yeah, I know. After they already took my ID and they didn't say anything. And they just let me vote, but they, the girl they had teenagers, which I thought was really cool. They had teenagers, um, letting us sign in to vote, taking our IDs and stuff. And they was like, "I know." My mom was like, "Y'all don't even know that's her." And they gave me my mom ID. I guess they thought that was me. It was all crazy, but I voted. Did y'all vote? Every vote counts. But I figured I vlog today because the plan is to wash and condition this here, and the plan is to show y'all. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. I'm gonna try. I'm going to try, but, um, yeah, it needs to be washed, and I don't want to do a, um, a braid set or a twist out. I want to do, I want to straighten it out and, um, curl it and put rods. The plan was for me to curl it. Each piece I curl, put a rod in, rod it up, and then take it out tomorrow, but that was supposed to happen, um, yesterday, so it can be at least, like, really curly for tomorrow, because I go back to work tomorrow, but... And then again, I'm thinking I'm pressed for time. Should I just do a bracelet or a twist off? And I took out the damn trash. So a fly came in here. This fly is getting on my nerves. We just got rid of the flies because summer is over. And um, we go back and forth through the deck, through the kitchen door. And the flies end up getting in here. So, and I had fly, um, I bought this fly device that zapped the flies. That really didn't work. It got like two flies. So then I went old school. I got the, um... The fly wrap, the sticky things that hang, but we hate them. We, they so tacky, and I had one in my room, and I was so mad that in one of my videos, you could see the, and it was a um one of my sponsorship videos, you could see the darn fly thing, but it's real. Like, if you got uh, flies that come in, it works, so I had to, uh, but I had took it down because it, it didn't really catch any flies because I didn't have any more, but I forgot to take it down um, beforehand, but it's cool. Um, What else, what else, what else? I want to do like a series of story times because I think about stuff from my childhood, stuff from school and stuff that I just be wanting to talk about because you know how stuff come back to you in your mind and you start reminiscing and I want to share it. Like once it's fresh in my brain, I want to get it out to y'all and I want to, like I said before, do my, um, my dreams, like all my dreams that I be having, they be so real, so vivid. And I want to have like a series where it's though, if like, in due time, people can come on and tell their dreams and, you know, like I can um, go live and people can talk about their dreams because I'm really, really, really obsessed with dreams and I really need to really um, get into something with dreams because I love, 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 I love dreaming. And, you know, my sign, my sign is Pisces. We're um, dreamers anyway, but like I really have dreams and I remember most of my dreams. And remember, you dream every night, but you don't remember them. But you do dream every night. If you don't remember, you just know that you do dream every night. Because people are like, I didn't have a dream. Yes, you did. You always dream, but you don't always remember them. That's what I wanted to say. But I'm about to make me some cereal, some honey bone, because I didn't eat anything yet. And one thing about me, I'm going to get bleach on me. Like, I cleaned the house. I'm almost done. I cleaned um, the living room, the dining room, the kitchen. And I cleaned the bathroom upstairs. I didn't clean the bathroom downstairs yet. And I didn't clean um, the downstairs. The um, lower level. So, I did everything. I'm washing clothes. That's why I haven't got my hair washed. So, after I eat my cereal and stuff, I'm going to attempt to wash my hair. I don't know if I'm going to show y'all. I'll probably end up showing y'all me straightening it and talking to y'all and all that. But I do have bleach on this robe. I said all that to say that I got bleach everywhere because I'm always cleaning in this stuff. So, one thing about me, I'm going to get bleach on me. So, got me some honeycomb, and so this is a random vlog because I just decided, I was like, when I'm off, I'm going to utilize it. I'm going to film because why not? And banana, let me wash my hands. Why not some 
I mean, I don't go live. I want to get into going live because I like watching people live and I mean, people like live, but I just, I don't know. I have to get out there. It's not really a fear. It's just a patience thing. And I have great patience, but it's like, I don't have patience to wait on people to not I mean, to come on. I don't think that I have a big following enough for me to go live, but that's how you uh, gain your following, really, live. So, but I don't think I have a big following enough where, though, it would be consistent for people to stay on. I could really interact with them because, or if I go live and it's one person on there, as long as y'all talking to me, I'm fine. But I can't be on there just talking to myself versus doing a video. I know the video is going to reach people. People going to watch it eventually. And I'm talking to them. I'm talking to y'all. But versus doing a live, sitting on there, and there's no one on there, and you talking to yourself? Uh-uh. That's crazy to me. But if, so, if one person to get on there, y'all can promise me, like, one of y'all will get on there. I will go live. I will go live more often if one person can um be on live talking to me. I don't care. It's not about the numbers for me because as long as I'm talking to someone, but I'm not going to be on live and uh, no one's on here, basically. I think I should, I give y'all like five to ten minutes to get on. But I know it's a process for live. Sometimes you don't get it right away that the person is live. So I'm going to try, ooh, dang, y'all saw that? That refrigerator got a, away from me. I'm going to try it. So I got this, I might need a little more. Y'all know I'll put, oh, uh, forgot to put my banana. Y'all know I don't put much milk in my cereal. I'm about to make me some coffee. That's what's what y'all here now. This is what I had yesterday too. But I had this. I had to taste for um, a bacon and egg sandwich. So I had um, honeycomb and bananas. And like I had my bacon in the oven while I was eating this. And I knew I was going to make me a bacon and egg sandwich. Uh, sunny side over easy egg with um cheese it was so good darn smoke um alarm went off though because i left the bacon in i had turned it off but it was still in the oven. my oven getting really hot so even though it was off the bacon was still in there that's what made it go off i was on the process of going outside taking the trash out and all the smoke went off. i'm like oh shoot i said what if i would have got locked out and that smoke alarm went off freaked me out um Look at my Mickey Mouse cup that my cousin Keisha got me for my birthday last year. And it comes with this. This little warmer. So as I'm waiting for my coffee, say I'm doing other things because I'm always doing other things. I never get to my coffee right away. You just sit this on there and let it heat up. It's not to um make it. Don't get it hot. It just warms it up. It's just a warmer to keep it warm, basically. I'm going to make my coffee. No one see me make my coffee. Let me show y'all. I'm going to put my milk in later. Yeah. Which one I'm going to use? Y'all talking about delicious? This one, it smells so good when you're making it. It smells like you don't even need any creamer or anything. You do need it. It smells like you don't need sugar or anything. It's so good. This coffee is so good. But my favorite one, do I have any more? This is my favorite. I'm trying to do this with one hand, y'all. French roast. And I love uh, dark roast coffee. Do we have any dark roast? No dark roast. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to use this one. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it out. I'm going to go live. I'm going to have a topic. Or y'all want to pick a topic? What topic would y'all like me to go live on? It has to be like a good topic that's going to um, draw people in, that make people that want to watch. And it's going to be good. Should I go live doing a story time? I've never went live doing like a haul or try on. And I asked y'all that before. How would that go though? I don't think I'm good enough to do them. Not that I'm not good enough, but I be having so many bloopers when I'm doing hauls or try on. Anything, you might get a nip slip or something like that. I don't think I'm there yet to do a haul um, try on live. But my girl Deidre, that girl that done it. And she, she did have like a, a little nip slip or something before. But she's done it. She's done her um her um haul, trial hauls live. 
and it was easier for her so she won't have to edit and all that and it worked good for her so i think maybe like a story time or a live mukbang yeah let's do a live mukbang that will come natural like doing a live mukbang that will be good so yeah i'm getting excited because i think i'm gonna start going live more I mean, my mom always tell me, my friends tell me, they're like, Tasha, why don't you go live? Like, you will have so much of a big, bigger following if you go live. And I'm like, no, I really don't like them. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to take that constructive criticism, that advice, and I'm going to do it. All right, I'm going to get the creamer and everything else. Y'all, did I mention my allergies is on 10? They're on 10. The refrigerator got uh, away from me again. I'm using the caramel macchiato. So good. It's a splash. Then I'm going to use my favorite. This is the peppermint mocha. Uh, mocha is my favorite. Not so much peppermint, but this is really good. Peppermint mocha. And then I'm not going to use any hazelnut. Um, these are the sugars I'm using. Ooh, there we go. I got Splenda. That's the sugar I use. I use Splenda or any um, sugar substitute. And it does not have aspartame in it. Let me just grab the darn box, cause and I should only need five. That's the plan to only have five. Okay, y'all. So then, who? What is this? A little strange. Eventually, I'll put my milk in my cereal. The only reason I didn't put it in now because I do. I was drinking my coffee, and I usually make my coffee first. I just dropped one of the sugars, and I didn't want my cereal to be soggy. I only use a splash of milk. So the little bit that's in here may be enough, but then again, it may not. Not enough, I'll get more. So, okay, y'all. So, that's that for the coffee. I'm going to use the same spoon. I'm going to rinse the spoon off because I got a little banana on it. I usually make my coffee first, use this spoon, and then just use it. Oh, my hands are itchy, probably so. I'm washing my hands and cleaning and stuff. My mom hate when I do this because y'all ever saw the movie Get Out? Y'all ever seen that movie? Y'all know why she hate when I do that. <laughs> oh, let's taste it. Even though I know it's going to be delicious. Let's try to see my face. So good. And hot. I don't even need the warmer because I'm going to drink that down. So, I may just sit and eat my cereal and talk to you. I'm going to need more. That was just too little. I had this one. And I always get unsweetened vanilla. Love almond milk because it's better for you and it lasts longer. The one that I just threw in the trash, that one had, because it don't have to be refrigerated if it's not open. That one lasts really, 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 really long. Like four months. This one will be expired December 26th. I got it last month, I believe. Just opening it. That shows how much I use milk. We really don't use milk in this house at all. But I said I'm going to get in the um, uh, the vibe of eating cereal again because I buy it and don't eat it. Sorry. Okay, y'all. So I, I guess I'll, I guess the, in a separate video, I'll do the hair stuff because this is just going to be a vlog. And. I'm eating my cereal and everything with y'all. I don't want to mix the uh, hair situation in there because I already see. It seems like I've been talking long. Uh, so my 40th birthday is coming up, y'all. March 5th. I'll be 40 years old next year. Oh my goodness. At 40, I thought I would have kids by now. Not so much marriage, but I thought I would have had kids by now. Um, I wanted kids. Never wanted to be married before. Never really desired to be married. Always wanted kids, but I never wanted to be married, but... Yeah, the marriage is an equ equation, but no way. Life and the guys 
that I encounter, I don't know where, where my husband will be at. I thought maybe I would fall in love as much as I travel. Fall in love in one of them countries or states, cities. Haven't happened yet. I don't know, age is just a number, but you start to think about your life like, dang, you about to be 40. And stuff start coming around like, mm -hmm. but then, on the other hand, I got to think about all the stuff that I have accomplished. So, yeah, I had to travel half around the world, not the whole world, but half. Or at least a quarter. I don't have any kids, but I'm in good health to have kids. I have a job, not so much a career, but a job. That's pretty good. Um, I have you guys. I grew my channel. It's not exactly where I want it to be, but I surpassed 1K followers, subscribers. Um, yeah, I have a nice following on TikTok. I didn't even try to do that. It's like TikTok. If they like you, they gonna follow, and the the views is gonna come. Like it's like so much easier than. YouTube. YouTube is like really, really hard. It's hard. It's hard. Because people like to see drama, fake stuff, and stuff that's not realistic. A lot of times on YouTube, and that's just not me. People like to see pranks that get your followers up like that. Which is most of them pranks is not real. They want to see people make a fool of themselves. Not me. But yeah. I'm going to be 40 years old, y'all. A big four of. Uh, even though everybody think I'm still in my twenties, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to be forty. Nobody believe me, especially teenagers and stuff. I'm like what? I'm young at heart. You're only as old as him still, right? No, so bad. Y'all don't eat bananas in y'all cereal. What are y'all doing? Bananas don't go with all cereals, but Frosted Flakes and Honey Yeah. So bad. So bad. Let me know what y'all did when y'all turned 40. What are all y'all accomplishments that y'all made at 40 years old? Another thing. I should have been got on the ball with, but I did this for everybody, but I really should be driving. Like, I couldn't even tell y'all how many times I had to renew my permit. <laughs> Who renews their permit? I passed the test every the first time each try, each time for the permit. But you know, after a while, it expires. You have to renew it, or you can't drive. So. It would expire because I would never go back to take the driving lesson. Now I would let it expire with um, I gotta take the physical over and all that. Even my doctor said, You still didn't get your license? How many times I gotta give you another slip to fill out? I'm putting it physical. Like, you know, you should have been here to like, <laughs> I was like, I'm not. But it was like, once I felt 
because the first thing they do in the state that I live in, you have to do the parking. If you don't pass that parking, you're done. I was so confident. I just knew I was going to pass. Pulled in. But I could not get that chair went backing up. I could not get it. The wheel straight. I could not get it. Like, so I felt. Never went back. Now, I've drove since then, like, in a car with my co-worker. I had one co-worker. And she volunteered. Not even my friends or family did this. <laughs> she volunteered to let me drive. She would pick me up from work, take me home, and I would be the driver. I would drive myself to and from work with her car. And I, that made me so confident. I was like, I got to go get my license. She was like, she wanted me to get my license. And we weren't even close. Like, but she wanted me to get my license. It was, like, foreign to her for someone not to have their license. A lot of people think that, but... I really don't feel like it's really a need. Like I take public transportation. If I need somewhere to get, I need to get somewhere that need to be, um, that I need to be drove there. I would just catch an Uber or Lyft. Or if it's that bad, whereas though I can't get an Uber or Lyft, one of my friends will take me. And I'm not dependent on anyone because I'll do it myself. But, and then the reason why I don't want to have a car because all this other stuff that goes on, I always think about all the bad stuff. And I always put in, my girl Brandy, y'all know that's my favorite, my celebrity, my um, my favorite celebrity, my favorite uh person that sings, my idol, everything. Brandy is my everything. But her song "Scared of Beautiful" it basically says, "Stop being scared of all the negative things that can happen. What could go wrong?" But instead of being so scared of what could go wrong, what about all the good that could come from it? Like, don't be scared to take a leap of faith. But I'm scared of like the. The sex traffic and the human traffic and all that stuff. People coming up to your car. I'm scared of all that stuff. Scared of getting in a car accident. Everything. Oh, I got really congested. Um, but yeah, that stuff can happen. Anything can happen in life, basically. So you can't be scared to do certain things. And I never was like really scared. Like, oh my God, I'm scared to drive. Because it's something that I wanted to do. But I just started wanting to do it late. You know how people, when they... Teenagers, they what start driving when they like 15 and 16. And more than likely, majority of the time, their parents drove. They parents um drove. So that's what they don't want to drive. Like my mom don't drive or my dad don't drive. They never um drove in their life. Like they never had cars, they never drove. But uh, my mom, she did um uh, go for a permit like me and all that, but that's a whole other story. But they don't have cars and they never drove, so it wasn't something like that I really wanted to do. I didn't want to start driving until I got in my 20s and like my mid 20s at that. I'm going to say that's a lie. I'm going to say more so. Yeah, I'm going to say like my mid, like early 20s, early 20s. That's when I started wanting to drive. And I was late, like wanting to drive. And I got discouraged and it wasn't a big thing. It wasn't something that was like, okay, I got to do this. So good. Versus a diploma. Like that's the, something I do. Oh, I have to. I have to get this. I have. But driving, and it's still not. Like, I dream about driving. I see myself in a car and all that. But I don't know. I, it's never too late. It's never too late. It's never. And that's another song Brandy got. It's never too late. It's never too late. So, yeah, it may happen. I don't know. But I tell you one thing, I took that physical over and I, I think it's about expired again. It seemed like I just took it and I promised her. I was like, I'm going to definitely get my license. I need to. But every time when I have a doctor's appointment, I make it my business to get one of those filled out just so I'll have it. And I heard that the um, permit test has gotten harder too. But even though that was never a problem for me, I used to, because it's common sense. Like, if you have common sense and you know about, a little bit about driving, because it's not going to teach you about driving, basically. It's all the signs and all that stuff you might as well say. But it really don't teach you about driving. You got to do that physically to do, um, to know about driving. But once you take that test, I say read the book fully, front from back. Read that book, because you're going to need it. Or go online and do the uh, practice test. Look at me telling somebody, and I'm I still I'm waiting to do my um permit again. But I'm giving advice. But I've been there plenty of times, so that's what you're gonna do. You gonna read that book. Once you read that book, you got it, and then you gonna go online and do the pre test, and make sure you go to a driving school because you can't be driving with people and they saying, oh no no no, you need to go to a driving school. So I went to a couple driving schools. I went to the driving school 
which is bad. Went to the driving school and still ain't do nothing. And um, family has taught me, friends taught me, and my coworker. But my coworker, she was the most consistent because we worked together. We saw each other every day. Every time on her shift, and my shift, she made sure she came and picked me up and everything. I'll never forget. It was one day, because when I was younger, I could go out a drink and be to work the next morning. I only have two hours of sleep. Now, I cannot do that. If I got to work the next day, you ain't getting me out unless it's like a day event and that's even pushing it. You can ask anyone that's still pushing it. But back then, I would drink and that's when I was a drinker, drinker. I, I'm a drinker now, but I used to get tore up. So I had the worst hangover the next day. I had to go to work. I, was on, I wasn't calling out or anything. I was going to work and I had forgot she was picking me up. I had the worst hangover. Like, I think I was still drunk. I had to be still drunk. Do you know this woman calling me like I'm outside? I'm like, I wasn't even halfway ready. I'm like, okay, all right, give me 10 minutes. Give me 10 to 15 minutes. She was like, what? We was real. She was, she always come early. She was like, and you know you drive. And I'm like, oh, I can't drive today. She was like, why not? I was like, I can't. I didn't want to tell the woman I had a hangover. But I'm like, I can't drive. I cannot drive. And she was like, you drive it today. So this came, this is a little story time. So I was like, okay, we're only five minutes away. We're five minutes away. I think I was still drunk. I could have been. I don't know. But I know I had the worst hangover. But I tell, when I tell you I drove that damn car and I was alert, I drove that damn car. And a lot of people say that. They say if you drink it, not that it's never good to drink or drive. But if you had a couple of drinks or something, you're going to be more alert behind that wheel if you were so if uh versus if you were sober because you really got to be alert because you know you know you're supposed to be doing it but i it's not like i was drinking i was drinking the night before so don't take that pro with it but i really think i was still drunk but i drove the hell out of that car and parked it and everything hey y'all this oh y'all see the lighting change it's because i had the damn kitchen light on i wish it was like this the whole time i was talking but what i'm gonna do is okay so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go upstairs and I'm going to comb out my hair because that's what I'm mad about. When I did the um, how to take out your braids without breakage, y'all see that video before this one. I didn't comb my hair not one time. I don't think I did it on camera not one time, but I combed my hair. But I wanted y'all to see how I comb it, start from the, I'm going to show y'all that now because it's still like, you know. So I'm going to show y'all. I don't think I showed y'all not one time how I comb it through and all that. That was like one of the important parts. I was like, but I, that was a long process. I was tired. And that's exactly why I didn't do anything to it now. This is some good coffee, y'all. Cheers. <laughs> I should have been cheers, but it's, it's so good. But, yeah, let's go upstairs. I got to go back downstairs. To start the dryer over and put another load in. So I need to do that now. Take my comforter out the dryer. And you know. Y'all no forget the uh, spade next week. I'm so nervous. I've done it so many times with um so many of my cats. Like getting them spayed and everything. But it's so 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 scary. Because the aftermath. Like it's scary like taking them dropping them off. And waiting for the cough to pick them up. And scary when they get home because she's still a baby and you know she's going to jump around and all that. She's been jumping around since last night. She threw up last night. No, she threw up today twice. I don't know if it's her nerves because I, I talk to my kids. I let them know, like, you're going to do this. I let her know she's going to the bed and all that. But, and how she's going to feel better and, you know, and when they get spayed, it calms them down too. She's very hyper. So, I told, I really talked to her last night, but I've been talking to her all week. I had uh, made her appointment like a, three weeks ago, I think. First of all, she's just making it because it, you got to be three months. She's just making it to go. So I was just talking to her. But now today, she was running around since last night all crazy. And I think she threw up because she's running around. I was hoping she didn't get into anything because she was just, this is the first time I, she ever, 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 ever threw, ever threw up. So I'm like, no, but what's going on? She's calm now. She's laying down for right sleep. But she's been running around all ragged and she threw up twice. But she's getting spayed on Monday, my baby. So I just wanted to remember like with mittens and gadget and print. Like what did we do 
how can we stop them from jumping up on things? Like, it's okay for them to go upstairs and downstairs, okay? It's okay for them to eat, drink water and all that. Use their box. And you still have to monitor them out of incisions because they can bust that open like that. And it's hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get it uh, uh, fixed. So, I want to know, what did I do to stop them from jumping up? I think I just let them be them. And when I see them jumping up or something... Put them down, but you got to be careful careful how you pick them up and all that. But I guess I just got to see how it works, see how it happens, and just let it flow. But we've been through it multiple times, but it's been four years since um, Mitten's four years old. She got hers around four or five months. So it's going to four years since she's been spayed. And everyone never had any complications, thank God. Never in my um set uh my cat uh sad eyes years 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 ago my oldest first cats not my first cat but one of my cats that I had the longest he didn't have any complications so and it's harder for the girls than the boys so everyone was fine but I just hope and pray that she be okay I'm so nervous I'm a nervous wreck myself it's like time is ticking like it's gonna be right around the corner and she's gonna get spayed but i just scared i'm not scared of her getting spayed i'm scared of like the after effect because i know how she like to jump around and climb and do this do that so i just don't want her to hurt her incision and i know when they feel that pain she gonna know not to do that like okay this hurt i'm not gonna do that anymore but you know all right let's go upstairs y'all we went back downstairs well, we're in a lower level. We're in the basement. We don't like to say the basement because this is our bar. It's called D and D's, and this is where we wash clothes and everything. But it's definitely not your average basement. It gets lit down here only when it's an event. <laughs> but right now, it's laundry. That's the litness that's going on now. So this blanket is so big. It's comfortable. Comf Comforter is so big that I already dried it three times and it's still not dry. This is going to be the last. Well, this is the third time, but I had to rotate it because it's so thick. It really should be in one of those um, big dryers at the laundromat, but I haven't been to the laundromat in years. Thank Jesus. And I don't even want to talk about it because we are blessed to have a washer and dryer. Um... I'm going to put another load in. I don't like to put loads in when I have stuff wet already. This has to get dry. But I am going to go buy my better, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm just talking. So I'm going to use one of these. These were on sale for $1.99 at Walgreens thanks to, um, Shell, Michelle Williams, um, Lottie Refractory, and Lazzy. Y'all know the lady holla. Oh, the lady, she turned 97 today. Happy birthday, Hala! Today is her 97th birthday. Well, her granddaughter let me know, let everyone know on their live to go to Walgreens. You'll get these for $1.99, and she was not lying. And I had just left Walgreens, so I had went the next day, and they were still there. Um, I'm going to use one of these, too. But, yeah, they had me dying. Y'all don't, um... Follow um, Fred Pay Lotteries, Lottery and Laughs on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, um, Instagram, all that stuff. What are y'all doing? When I tell you that lady is so funny, I be at work, home, just thinking about her dying. I mean, hilarious. Hilarious. So funny. Y'all know old people do not have no filters. So I'm going to wash my sheets and stuff. Sheets and towels. So I put those in there first. Oh wait, missed a step. Fabric softener. I just ran out of my um my downy to order some more. This is um what is this one? This is great value. Gentle and soft. And it smells really good. It is um spring showers, but I like the downy better. Downy and um Gain. So just put all my sheets in here. And with my sheets, blankets, and all that, no matter what color it is, I always add bleach. Always. So my sheets, my towels. This goes over here. 
this is all my color clothes over here. This is my work stuff here. That's already clean. It's waiting to go in the dryer as soon as this darn thing is done. So, that's my robe. I have so many of these darn robes. And then, I'm going to use the last one. But this is one, another one that was $1.99 at Walgreens. Smells so good. Fresh scent. Anything fresh and cool, just like my perfumes and stuff. That's how I like my, my laundry to smell in my house. Use the last little bit of this and then some bleach and some more um, detergent. I'm going to use, oh, no, that's, it's, one is already open. This one, this is the Sun Triple Clean from Walmart. Squirt it. Y'all probably say, all that detergent, girl. Yes, all that detergent. And then the bleach goes in. Oh, felt the sock. This must be my mom's sock. It's the one on Lewis sock. It's probably hers. Let me not mix it up with my darn thing because I don't know if that sock is clean or dirty. I'm going to put this bleach right here. Make sure it don't splash on my clothes. Get the bleach going on this little compartment here. And that's just enough. And I put it on hot. All my sheets and blankets and stuff go on hot. So I'm going to put it on hot. That's going to be a bulky items. And I'm gonna put the water temperature to high. And then that's that. All right, now up we go. We going upstairs. I wish I had some clothes to take upstairs to fold and put away. Look at that bleach. One thing about me, no matter what, even my clothes, my good clothes, I get bleach on. It's because I forget and I start washing dishes and stuff. But one thing I got bleach on, I was so mad. All them nightgowns from Avenue, they all got bleach on them. The watermelon one, all of them, except for the Care Bear and all that. Bear. That's because I only slept with them on vacation. But I won't be mindful. It's a lot of cute stuff that I have that got bleach on it. Y'all, did I mention my tub was seasoning? If y'all don't know what that means, <laughs> look it up. But anywho, I uh, put all the cleaning products in my tub. And it's been sitting for an hour now. So now it's time for me to really clean it and get it done. If you know, you know. <laughs> Let's prep this hair to be washed. Of course, I gotta. Ooh, 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 ooh. Of course, I gotta part it and everything, but it's still the um, what's still coming off is the darn braiding here. All right, so we gonna. My mirror is right there. So have I ever shown y'all my uh, vanity mirror? It's so pretty. I don't have not one ring light on. I got the vanity lights on. So I'm going to part it straight down the middle. That's how I like to do it. You always want to make sure your hair is nice and combed through before you wash it. So, ooh, let's use that. And then, sometimes I section in another section, but you always want to start at the end. So I'll start at the end. I told y'all about, about allergies. Whew. I gotta take a better drill. Oh, shoot. Excuse me. Still sneeze. I must not want to get that done. I'm taking two. Hell with it. And I worked the work, too. It's good. I need to take a nap anyway. It's 12.47 p.m. I've been up since 9 a.m. Snowball was still it up. Ooh, shoot. I try not to get up early when I'm off, but my body is just so used to getting up. But I always make sure I take a nap. But yesterday, I didn't take a nap at all. But I went to bed early, too. Water's so good. All right, so... I already did the ends of this one, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to part it. It's still a little tangled. Part it. And I'm going to get this scorchy and we're going to do this. Sometimes when I'm washing my hair um, to get it ready, I like to uh, part it in sections. So sometimes I just put it in one scorchy. It depends. It's not the same process every time. 
But show y'all where my ends need to be clipped at. So this is my hair and it's not straightened. So it's down here. But my ends, all this need to come off. Y'all see that? This is all. And that's because my ends haven't been trimmed since. Yeah, so what was it? Last October or last November, I went to uh, Journey's Hair Salon after not getting my hair done since 2019. Because y'all know my cousin. Um, she used to do my hair. And I used to go every two weeks. And I was scared to let someone else do my hair. So, uh... That was the last time I got my ends trimmed, and that was in 2021. And how I know is, I remember, but I didn't remember the exact month because I did a review, a Google review. That's her um her main thing when you go. She like make sure you give me a review. I did a Google review, and that review blew up. I'm still getting emails. Like I just got an email last week when I was on vacation, uh, a couple weeks ago when I was on vacation. I got a um email saying your review is doing so well it got four well almost four thousand views it's over three thousand views on that one review mostly the views that i do for people or for companies it always blow up when i tell you that review blew, blew up it blew up and um whenever i do reviews for amazon i get people asking me like amazon like x like uh I see you did this review. Can you let them know how this works and all this? Like, I need to be getting paid for this stuff because I, my reviews always blow up. So, all I said was basically, um, to make a long story short, I haven't had my um, hair professionally done since 2019. So, I took a, um, a leap of faith. I Googled and I did my research for two years and Journey's, um, Journey's Hair Salon, Tamika, her salon got the most reviews best reviews so i went took a leap of faith and went to her and the experience was bomb like the people were so nice her shampoo girl i can't think of her name but she was so nice everyone was so nice i felt so comfortable and she did a great job but i handed it back sis but um would i go back yeah i would go back but um that was the last time i had my ends trimmed and now ends need to be trimmed badly that all need to be trimmed so when i got my braids i gotta blow my nose you know i just hope i don't have anything in my nose because i will keep on blowing my nose my nose is red too. So yeah, my hands need to be trimmed before I got my braids. Every time I get my braids done from my friend Jen, shout out to my friend Jen, slaying my braids, slaying my hair. She um she kept on saying like, girl, when you gonna get your ends trimmed? Your ends need to be trimmed. And I'm like, I know, I know, just braid it, I do. But yeah, and I used to get my um ends trimmed um once a month i believe or um every couple months so imagine not getting him going from getting it trimmed so much to not getting it trimmed at all and then like when i got braids and i could see like if i got my hair if i do a twist out and have my hair twisted with braids and i could see where it need to be trimmed i'll just trim it myself it took me years to get over that fear of trimming your own hair but you could if you could see where uh and that, that came from a video a youtube video some girl would do i can't even think of who it was but you can actually see where your hair needs to be trimmed. Just trim it. Like, it's not going to hurt. And I can see where it's gonna, it needs to be trimmed. So I'll just trim it. You know, I might just do it now. Let me put the, twist it. And I've never done anything like this on camera. Let's see. Let me show y'all. I'm going to demonstrate. I ain't scared. I used to be so scared uh, here. I mean, but it's just here. That's how I feel now. I guess as you get hold, older, like, I, you could tell when you're growing up because <laughs> I would never just say it's just here, but it's just here. When you've been through some things and seeing what people have been through, it's just here. So, as y'all can see, that part needs to come off. This is nothing. That's just dead, damaged. It's not even damaged. It's just, that would do no good on my hair. Can y'all see that? No good. It's nothing. There's no need to have that on my hair. Now, is it going to be even? Probably not, but that needs to come off regardless. Even um, her shampoo girl. What is her name? I can't think of her name. I probably can look it up on um, their page. Her shampoo girl even was like, I'm a shampoo girl and I'm scared to trim my own hair. I was like, yeah, i always been scared like that. But when you dealing with, that's the longest I ever went without getting my hair done, professionally done in my adult age. So... I learned more about my hair not getting it done. I learned more about it myself, like not letting someone else touch it and do it. And I noticed that it grew more not getting it done because the more you get your hair done and the more, 
the more you um, put heat to it, of course it's not good. That's normal. Um, the more you uh, get it done, the less it's going to grow, of course. Because you, the less you touch your hair, the better. Your hair grows when you leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Make sure you comb it and put moisture and all that into it. But if you put in protective styles and not touch it, it's going to grow. It has no choice but to grow and thrive. But, um, of course, my cousin, she kept my hair healthy. That's the only person I trust with my hair, except for when I get braids done. But she kept it healthy, even with the color, everything. So, yeah, I learned from my cousin as well. She's been doing my hair. Well, she's been doing my hair even since I was little. But professionally, she's been doing my hair since I was six, 18. 18, I want to say. Like, all this needs to be coming off. So, 18. So, I'm about to be 40. So, go figure. So, you know I've learned a lot. Like, the products that she used, what to do. Um, she taught me about the um, the protective plate they have on the um, curling iron. So you won't damage your hair. Don't just get like the regular um plate irons without that um ceramic plate, I believe it's called. And y'all take one another piece. All that comes off. This have no need in my hair. <laughs> my cousin, if she watched this video, she probably like, what the hell are you doing? If you don't bring your ass back to the shop. <laughs> Oh, gosh. But I'm thinking about making an appointment. I'm thinking about making an appointment. Because I'm ready to have my color back. Now, um, that lady, uh, Tamika, and she probably, um, I don't know if she watched my videos, but we did exchange um, YouTubes and all that. And we're supposed to do a collab together because she's also a caterer. So, y'all, y'all get the gist of it right there. Um... She's also a caterer, so you're supposed to do like a clam, and we still can do that. But um, would I trust her doing color? Um, I don't know. Probably, I know she's special. What I like about her, she specializes in natural hair, natural hair, and all that stuff. So, and the tips that she was saying, like it was um mainly similar to what my cousin was saying. So I was like, okay, yeah, I get it. But um, color, I don't know. Color, uh. I'm not there yet with letting someone else do my color. Now, I'll put color in my hair myself, but those are like the dye boxes and all that. But the professional color, <coughs> I'm not there yet. So, for color, I want my cousin to do it. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, I haven't been to my cousin's shop since the pandemic. Before the pandemic, because it had just came in i had just uh stopped working for payless in 2019 y'all know i was a uh assistant manager at payless if y'all didn't know now y'all know because i would never say where i worked because i used to always do payless hauls and all that and i didn't want it to be like controversial or uh like i'm being biased or anything and then again I, while i was working there i didn't want nobody to know where i was working at because people could google stuff and they'll find out where you work different little stuff i might slip up or something but no one ever knew where i worked at but they just knew that i worked in uh retail they didn't know where though i don't even know if they knew if, if i worked in retail but a lot of my um long time fashion dials and guys y'all knew but when i announced it that i left my job as bittersweet after all these years because i was with them for 12 years was it 12 years i was with them for 12 years it would have been 12 years. It was 11 years when I left, I believe. I keep up with how long I've been here from my girlfriend's um, daughter, my girlfriend Jen's my, um, fat mama, Samaya. She was, when I first started there, two, two days, I started on the, I started Payless, I want to say 2007, October 9th. She went in labor, if I'm not mistaken, on October 11th. She had Samaya October 13th. But she had to stay in the hospital for a little bit for, because of copy. I don't even know if she want her business on here. I might have to cut that little bit out. Because I did not ask permission to tell her business about her birth and all that on my channel. She probably don't mind. But 
I didn't ask her permission for that. But anywho, I keep up with the age because of um Samaya. Samaya is what, 14 now? Don't get me wrong. Samaya is 14. And I stopped working in 2019. So it would have been 12 years. So that makes sense. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, so I either, I made 12 years. I believe I made 12 years working there in 2019. And and I remember because uh, my manager at the time, I knew her from another um, retail company that I worked for. And when she hired me, um, like two days later, I was like, my friend is in labor. And I guess she probably thought I wanted to call out or something. She was like, oh, like looking all like, well, you just started working. I'm like, no, I was just saying, like, I, I'm excited. Like, my friend is in labor. And I was like, she just gave birth. I'll never forget. I had just started my job. But um, that's how I keep up with how long I've been here. Even though, if I think back, I can remember. But I always keep up with the um, years because of the age of um, her daughter. That's how you do things. <laughs> you remember a time in your life when something happened. That's how you could keep up with stuff. And that's how I do all the time. But, um... I said all at that site that no one knew where I worked at and I didn't want people to know where I worked at. Um, and when people found out, they was like, girl, oh, that's why you had us. I didn't know you were. Or when people would tell me about like, you know, this place, like when they would talk about Payless, they got, I was like, well, you know, I was a, um, a manager for some odd years. And I started from, um, I was just a regular um salesperson, starting like a regular sales, worked my way up. A key holder, then I worked my way up to assistant manager. They wanted to be a manager, they wanted me to be a manager in the beginning, like months after I started because I was so good, but I denied it. Like, well, you see people go through certain stuff and how it is. I didn't want that responsibility. And I vowed when I came to this job that I'm at that I didn't want responsibility, but it's inevitable. Like, when you do a good job, they're going to ask you, they're going to ask you to be a boss. And you can either say no, so I say yeah with the job that I am at now, but now I demoted myself because it was just too much, and I knew it was going to be too much because the way I travel, I just don't, I can't have that responsibility of always being there. They want you to be there when you're not there, when you're off, you always like on the clock basically because when you're off, they still want to call you and text you when you're on vacation. I'm out of the country and the job calling me. Why? Y'all know I'm on vacation, but when you sign up for that that's a part of it and I couldn't do it I couldn't do it and I had to demote myself and now I feel so much better that I demoted myself and the new management that we had she is great so it worked out good so this is another piece and I didn't even plan on cutting this stuff because I plan on getting well at least when I go over to get my ends trimmed my ends trimmed it won't be so bad and that's what the lady said um Tamika Journey's um hair care hair salon she said that even though I didn't have my hair done since 2019, my hair is in great condition. She's never she's never seen anyone keep up their hair like that, not professionally done, and having it um, just doing it themselves. She said you really take really good care of your hair. I could take I could tell you take pride in your hair, and I'm like, yes, I do. And I was telling her about before then how my cousin was just the only solely person that would do my hair, and she specialized in natural hair care. That's why. Um, I know also how to take good care of my hair. But I've always taken good care of my hair, except for when I didn't, when I was younger. And uh, y'all already know that story when I would go swimming every day. And I never used to want to put condition in my hair, like I, but loved my long hair, but didn't take really good care of it. So, and uh, I'm going to, um, about to end this vlog because it's getting really long. And uh, I'm going to, it's going to take me long to edit this, the longer it is. So, this little piece coming off. Um, y'all, the next video will be a video on me not so much y'all probably seeing me wash it but the products i use and how i'm going to do it but um yeah she said i take really good care of my hair and my ends was the only thing that was really bad is that my ends need to be clipped really bad and you know when you don't clip your ends your hair not gonna grow like it's supposed to like you have to clip your ends to get that dead hair off so your hair can grow it's like keeping a dead person trying to uh, keep on um, composing of a, um, a... That's not a good analogy. I don't know why I said that. But it's like <laughs> trying to keep something dead alive, basically. That's more like it. Something that's dead. If it's dead, 
and it's something just like if you had bad fruit next to the good fruit the good fruit is going to die first and same with the vegetables if you don't get rid of that bad fruit that's how your hair is if you don't get rid of that dead uh damaged stuff the good stuff is not going to come just like um anything like with a sore or something if you keep on pulling the scab it's never going to heal i don't think that was a good analogy either but i'm not good with analogies but that's that. Okay, y'all. So, we go, I'm going to get ready to do the next video. Ooh, look at me. I look cute, don't I? I look cute. I look cute. I love, I'm obsessed with length, though. I am obsessed with length. I can say that. Like, my hair have to be shoulder length, mid back, or something like that. But I was thinking about, I don't know. I never had my hair cut before, which I think of me cut my hair like to a style or something. I wouldn't be opposed to it because now in my adult life, I'm about to be 40. I'm about to be 40. I can't be looking like a little girl in these streets. But I'm about to be 40 and I need to do different things because... Why am I talking like that? I'm about to be 40 and I need to be doing some different things because I've never had my hair cut. Like I had bangs. Like I had a China doll. Choop and bangs but i never had i've never had my hair cut even my cousin the stylist she's had her hair cut before um i've never had my hair cut only trim so what style will look cute on me y'all what y'all think these cute fat cheeks in this face and what y'all think will look cute with a 40 year old hairstyle like i'm about to be 40 and i'm getting these grays and all that like i need a grown and sexy hairstyle what grown and sexy hairstyle y'all think will look cute on me at the age of 40 years old like i said when i turned like i started drinking browns again because i don't drink brown liquor because i get crazy but then i feel like i used to get crazy back in the day because i wasn't old enough to handle it i'm mature enough to handle the brown liquors like and i've been doing good i could drink brown liquors i could drink that old bourbon all that whiskey and stuff. i'm drinking those things now because i'm old i'm 40 like i'm getting older i can't be drinking those little fruity drinks don't get me wrong i'm still gonna drink them but i don't need to be drinking no tequila sunrises and no long island whole the um coke and give me pineapple juice i need the coke now because i'm grown <laughs> all right y'all if y'all like this video please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already hit that notification bell so you'll know when all my videos are coming out share this video so when else can see i did a random vlog a little day in my life with a little extra all this stuff y'all got a story time y'all got um chit chat y'all got a uh, um hair um tutorial a little quick hair tutorial y'all got laundry y'all got a little mukbang y'all got a coffee y'all got me doing all this kind of stuff i was telling my business i was telling other people business leave me a comment let me know how y'all like this video until next time love you guys y'all bye my fashion guys hey guys bye y'all bye